You guys might remember a couple of months back we were talking about browser automation, using RuCode, etc. to do things like reach out on LinkedIn, etc, etc. There is now a new guy on campus, Browser MCP. The site is browsermcp.io and I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up. So first thing you do, add to Chrome, um, press this add to Chrome button right here. Make sure that you pin the uh, extension like I have. And then obviously we also need to add the MCP server. I'm gonna be using Claude Desktop. You just grab this, you make sure that it works for your computer, like I'm on Windows. Make sure it's working for Windows or Mac or Linux, whatever system you're on. Put that into your Claude settings. You can also use this on um, Klein or Roo or Cursor, whatever you want. Now, one thing that you can do is automated testing with this, right? So you can write something and then you can see whether it works, right? So let's just watch this example here. They're using browser use in order to actually test the code that has been created and now they've fixed the code, right? So this is what I personally would use it for, um, but I'm going to show you a few other use cases for it in this video. Now, basically, or effectively, what you've now got is a personal assistant who has access to your browser that is AI and will go all day long. So, like I said, the way that I personally would use it is for testing, like it says here. But I'm going to show you something a little bit different. So, I'm on my LinkedIn here. This is my own personal LinkedIn. I'm going to say, I have a SaaS called Harbor SEO. Use Bright Data MSP to understand what the website is and what we offer i want you to then go on my linkedin and find people who are potentially interested in harbor seo and message them or connect with them use the browser mcp for this so in order to use the browser mcp just very quickly one thing that we have to do is we have to click here I'm already, I'm already connected as you can see, so we'll just do that again. Let's cancel this, refresh this. So we'll click here, connect, right? Now we can connect. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to press enter here. Let's just make sure all my MCPs are turned on. Bright data is turned on, browser MCP is turned on. There we go. So the, oh no, it's harborseo.ai. Oops. harborseo.ai. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually scrapable because Harbor is built on React. So I'm actually not, I think it's an SPA, a SPA. I'm not actually sure this is going to work. Let's have a look. I, I doubt it, but we shall see. Oh no, okay, it, it does It does scrape. Let's see if Bright Data can handle it. Okay, so it's got a pretty decent understanding of what Harbor is from the Bright Data MCP. This this weird thing where like it just randomly says that it can't use browser MCP and you have to remind it that it can use browser MCP. Okay, so you can actually watch it do this, which is the cool thing about this. Okay, so we're actually watching this in in process of it doing whatever the fuck it's going to do. Look at that digital marketing SEO. Bang, bang, bang. Now it's going to find people. It's going to connect with them. If I had LinkedIn Premium, it would also write to them. And the really cool thing about this is I don't actually need to sit on this tab. Like I could be anywhere else. I could be, I don't know, you know, uh, coding over here or whatever. And you'll see that this will actually continue working. So you can see it's still going. Sometimes it will struggle to click certain things, like it's, it's struggling to click this, so I'll just click it because it's just going to be easier. Um, the reason for that is certain buttons, etc. don't fully work. It's kind of strange how it works, but so now it's just going to start following people. Okay, so there are still some issues even with browser MCP. It doesn't seem to be able to click properly, which is kind of annoying. I really thought that this would fit. Oh, no, it can. Okay, never mind. It's absolutely nailed it. Nice. So effect, I think there are still some problems with some buttons, by the way. This happens with every single browser use MCP that I've ever used. 
However, it's autonomous, it's logged in, and it's intelligent. You can see that it's really, really trying to connect with people. Oftentimes what happens is because of the way that modern websites are built, it does struggle to actually click. However, overall, I do really like this setup of like how we're, instead of like having everything inside Klein, you have your Chrome browser and then you have Klein or Roo or Claude Desktop on one side and you can just use it to power the other one, right? This actually makes a lot more sense than the old system of having everything inside Klein. I really didn't like this system, to be honest with you. I much prefer this system here. It just seems better. Wow, that's crazy. Maximum length for the conversation already. That was 200,000 tokens right there. That's crazy. That's crazy. Must be loads of crap here. Yeah, there is. Okay, so this is like a decent way to do this. However, I am very worried by the fact that we've already hit the maximum length for this conversation. But I do like the autonomous nature of this. The fact that it's logged into my Chrome profile is amazing. And it is very, very intelligent. Like I said, there was one more use for this. So what you can actually do is um, test your applications or get AI to test them. Go to there using browser MCP and see if everything works for me. This is personally what I would be using browser use for. Um, I think this is probably the best use case for it. So you can see it's loaded, blah, 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 everything here. Um, click through some stuff and make sure it works. So let's see if it just clicks on a few things. So service links. I'm not sure where the actual, is it here or here? Oh yeah, it's here. Okay, so there we go. And now clicked on services. If they update this where it does a hover click as soon as possible, then that would actually be huge. It does seem to really struggle with clicking. Oh, there we go. It found an error. Perfect. That's actually really useful to me. So now I would take this and I would fix the error. So I've encountered an error when clicking on a specific location link. The error shows this. This, this suggests there's an issue with loading the specific location pages. Beautiful. So we actually found an error, which is great because I didn't know that this error existed. And now I do. And I didn't have to test this for myself. Personally, this is what I will be using this for. I think the kind of self-improving AI where it tests things that another AI has created for you or as part of like a, a process. I think that's amazing. I think that's really, really cool. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, guys. I would recommend this for Claude uh, Desktop, um, especially because Claude Desktop doesn't have browser use. For something like Klein or Roo, you'd probably be better just sticking off with the browser use that comes with their system. It's actually filling in this information, which is pretty cool. Although it won't work. Let's see if this works. Let's see if we can do the drop down. It'll be pretty cool if we can do the drop down. Okay, it seems to be struggling with the, with the drop down. A couple of drawbacks of this is it's not quite intelligent enough. I wouldn't say I think there are a few problems with it. As you can see, it struggles to click. The other thing is the ridiculous amount of tokens it uses. I can't believe that it used 200,000 tokens in about 10 chats just before. I'm going to leave the video there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. I hope this helps, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.